Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we have a 2019 Toyota Camry. We're going to be tinting the front windshield. I'll show you how to do it. First, you just want to get your window cleaned up. Like that. You want to get you some bar soap. I use Irish Spring. Lightly spray the window. Put you a nice coat of soap on it. It is cold this morning. Woof hands are freezing it's supposed to warm up though thankfully we're out of winter heading into spring the time has changed Whew. this is tinning weather about to get busy 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 all right once you have your soap on you want to let it completely dry uh, I'm gonna take a blowtorch and just go over it lightly and get it dry because I ain't got time to wait Once your window is completely dry, take you a tape measure. Feel like we need five feet of tent. So let's cut that. Throw that down. This is a 36 inch tent. And take your rag and just uh, spray it and just wet the middle. Lay that to the side. Have our tent. Carefully put it in position. Take your rag, put your bead in the middle, and stretch it out a little bit. Take a hard card and secure the middle. Get your razor knife, be careful. You want to trim it about at least probably a half inch, a half inch on the other side of the matrix dot. On the same with top, about a half inch from the top for right now. Then take your rag, you want to run it down your side. You want to secure your sides down. The tent will not shrink this way, it will only shrink towards the straight ends. If you try to tent it this way, you're going to have all kind of fingers, and the fingers will not heat out. Same thing with the other side. You trim any excess that you don't need off. Put a half inch on the other side of our matrix dots. On the top. Secure this side down. We gotta get our middle first. I got ahead of myself. Secure the middle. And you want to secure your sides down. On these sides, you want it to where there's no fingers on the sides. It's just completely flat. Okay, now we have all these fingers that we have to heat out. Do not try and put the tin on 
the window without this step. <laughs> it will not work. I'm going to warm my hands up. I'm going to wait for your heat gun to get nice and hot. I usually start at the top, then I'll do the bottom, then I'll switch sides. Okay. First off, you want to just go over your big fingers. Just kind of get the slack out of it. Take your hard part. Start working it up. Very slowly. When you're tinting these windows, if you're not very experienced, right here in your corners is where you're going to have the most trouble. It's, it's where it's going to want to, it's going to want to bunch up right here. The, the bottom is not that bad, it's the top. So you want to take your time mostly on these corners. You have like a big finger, you can run your hand up it. Kind of work it out a little bit. And start at the bottom, same thing. Go over your big fingers. You're really just trying to get the tint past the matrix dot. I mean, you want to uh, you want to heat it past the matrix dot. Just go slow. Same thing on this side. I'm going to get your fingers up and down. Heat up your big fingers. Kind of get so much slack out of it. You don't want to put your heat gun too close to the tent. Probably six, eight, six inches away. Go slow, working your way up and down the tent. And right here, you're going to have a lot of bunch up. Just slowly work it out. Just, um, just push the little fingers up and down. Slowly working it out. You try to do this too fast, you're going to crease your tent. So just go slow. Right, same on the bottom. Put your big fingers and heat them up. You're just trying to get some of that slack out of the tent. You get that. Slowly work your way down.
just want to get it flat beyond your matrix line. If you're doing this at home for the first time ever, you probably shouldn't do it. You probably should take it to a tent shop because it, this this right here takes a lot of practice. I'm I'm more making this video for you know people that's a little bit experienced in tent that's want to know a little bit more. Now we need to cut our tent. Uh, these, this matrix line right here, the little dots, you want to go probably an eighth of an inch over that, all the way around. You open up the door, you may want to get your buddy to shine a light inside there just to help you see the line, but I'm going to cut it about an eighth of an inch on the other side of your matrix dot. Stainless steel blade. I always say that. <laughs> Do not cut on the car with a carbon blade. Now sometimes these can be kind of hard to see because a lot of times these windshields have like a factory tent on the top. So you may have to get your buddy to shine a flashlight in there so you can see the line. But right now I can see it pretty good. I've seen a lot of people too. They'll tin them. I do this a lot too. But I, you can tin it. You can shrink it with a blowtorch. But if you're doing this at home, I would not recommend a blowtorch. Just use you. Just get you a heat gun, and that's all you need, really. You can do it with a heat gun. Now around this, all cars are different, so you'll just have to look to see where you need to cut. We have our tent shrunk. Now it's time to uh, clean the window and get it on. It's nice to have a big piece of glass when you're doing this. If you don't have a big sheet of glass, you can put your tent, you can leave your tent on the windshield or you can move it to your back glass. I'm gonna get your tent out of the way for a minute while you clean your windshield. When you're getting your window ready to put the tent on, I like to just, you know, cover all your electronics up, spray a window, and I take one of these uh, razor scrapers and I'll just, just barely go over the window just to get any kind of little trash off of it. Take your rag and clean up your area. And when you're done with this, put it outside the car. Now you want to spray the window. Take your Blue Max squeegee. Start at the top. Just squeegee it off. Now it's handy to have one of these uh, bulldozer tools. You can get these off eBay. 
really handy for doing the bottom of windshields. Usually we'll squidge it twice on each side. Alright, when you have your window clean, you just want to make sure there's no trash or anything like that in it. Put you a nice even coat of soapy water. This is just uh, Johnson's baby shampoo. Now your piece of tent, it has a clear film on the outside of it. You have to remove that and spray your tent with a soapy water. And then uh, I usually just Frankenstein it on here. There's no easy way to do this. It's better to have two people. <laughs> but usually we'll just be careful and slowly. I will just get my bottom on. And just slide it down. It's going to want to fall on you. You're doing it by yourself. Just slowly work it down. If you have your bottom in, you can kind of adjust it from there. all my stuff out of the way now when you have your piece of tin on you just want to kind of look at it make sure there's no no gaps or anything light is showing anywhere and once you have it on everything looks good take your spray bottle put a light coat of water on it take your blue max I usually start from the middle right here and I'll go down and I'll start going over to the side slowly work your way up and take your big tool Work it down to the bottom. Get your car cleaned up. Once you squeegee this side one time, go ahead and do your other side, and then we'll come back and put and squeegee, squeegee it all again. this side down We want to go over it one more time pretty firmly pretty firm squeegee on it this tent is a pressure adhesive so you want it the second time you want to get it pretty firm Usually take the little triangle tent tool and I'll kind of go over the edges.
get all you window cleaned up, water out the car. They get a free dash cleaning with this. Now I can see a couple little fingers on the sides and I will show you how to get them out. Now we have a couple just little fingers here on the sides. All you got to do if you have that is peek your window up, take your little triangle tool, just work them out. Heat them up. They're going to probably pop back, but heat them up and they will slowly come out. Now at this point, you want to uh, inspect your window to make sure there's no big trash or little fingers here and there. If they do, just use your heat gun and heat the window up and take your little tool and work them out. Now that you've went around it and make sure there's no bubbles and you've heated it up, I usually take a blowtorch and I'll just heat up all the edges. And usually, if you're going to have fingers, they'll they'll pop back out with your heat with your blowtorch. But do that real quick. Now, after you blow torch it and you got it all heated up, I usually will uh, we will clean the window, and then I will usually just let it sit outside for about an hour just to make sure there's no bubbles that come back up, and then I will text the customer to come get it. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, and thank you for watching.